Okay, so it's uh, Saturday morning. I got the pacer out. I'm actually going to uh, Morning Octane over in Ar Arcadia, uh, which is it's mainly a supercar meet, but according to the Facebook, it says classic cars as well. So basically, it's it, but I watched videos on it. It's mostly supercar. So I'm going to take the most anti-supercar thing I own and take the pacer, see what kind of reaction I get. Um, I'm probably more likely to get pulled over than they are because if anyone's watched enough VinWiki uh, videos, you'll know that like if you get caught doing like triple digits in a Ferrari, they just let you off with a warning every single time, which I don't know how that worked out, but it just does. Anyhow, I'm gonna take the pacer. Let's see how this goes. Coming up on uh, San Diego now, uh, I guess I'll just follow the dudes in the Lamborghinis. If they don't like uh, leaving the dust. All right, so they uh, let me in here, uh, here at the uh, Santa Anita racetrack in Arcadia. There's the pacer. Uh, they tried to park me with, I guess there's a little few old cars here. There's like an old uh, Chevy pickup, like late, late 40s, early 50s, uh, like a 69 uh, Charger, like a, uh, like, a, like a Mustang, like GT350 Hertz. And a, uh, there's like a Mercury Marauder over here. So uh, there's a few older cars here, a couple like BMW 2002s. So I'm just gonna walk around and video it and uh, show you what's here. Actually, I got a lot of reactions pulling in here with the Pacer, like, wow, it's got wood paneling. All right, so we got a newer uh, Mercedes of some type, an AMG, a Camaro, uh, like an 87 intercooled Grand National. Uh, lots of BMWs out here. This, uh, this M3 here. I don't think this, I wonder if this guy knows what that means on dating sites. Just just checking. Um, I think so we're gonna walk around. Here's a uh, fully customized uh, Civic. Check this thing out. I don't know how you even look out through that windshield with all the stickers on it, but this guy spent a lot of time on this bad boy. More Civics. So it's not just like Ferraris and Lamborghinis and things. It's it's a little bit of everything here. It's a clean older uh, Porsche 911. Probably have to cut my clips kind of short since there's a lot of music playing. All right, so there's that Chevy pickup, and uh, this is that Charger. I've actually seen this car before, at, like local events. This thing is like full custom, but it kind of left the outside all ratty, so it's it's really bitching. The interior, this thing is just pretty awesome. It's even got, uh, it's like it just pulled it out of something. And you got the old 8 KME T sticker on the back. For all you old school guys. There's a cool uh, Mercury Marauder like NASCAR tribute. Once again, I've, I've seen this at different shows. It's actually been featured, I think, on online articles and things like that. This guy actually drives this thing. I've actually seen him on the street driving it around this area. So, and he does do a lot of cars and coffee events, uh, including the Carcadia event that's once a month here in Arcadia. It's a pretty sweet Marauder. Right, here's a couple uh, BMW 2002s. Uh, these used to be like really cheap cars back in the day. Uh, now they've gotten kind of pricey. I knew a lot of guys that had these like uh, years ago, back when you could pick them up for like a grand. And not anymore. They make really cool uh, race cars, especially the round tail light ones. The round tail light ones arguably are like cooler looking. You can see some kind of a square tail light one over here, one of the rectangular ones. But uh, all these are really clean cars. <laughs> There's like a fully tricked out uh, NSX. This thing's pretty, pretty neat. It's got a giant spoiler on the back. I had a video that's 914. This thing's like super clean. This is one of those cars like where 25 years ago they were like super cheap and now they're like super expensive. So, this was actually a six cylinder one model too. But just super clean example. All right, here's like a super original uh, Porsche 912. 
Let's have a look in here. It's even got the uh, roof rack on it. There's a little funky uh, Datsun 510. So we've got hood scoop, louvers. It's got the uh, full rear view mirror. Uh, actually, my pacer had that when I first got it, but then I put a regular rear view mirror in it. Um, yeah, this thing is really, really cool. So we've got the uh, carbon fiber gas filler door. And, uh, I think they just turned the music up, so. I don't even know if you can hear me on this damn video. All right, here's an early uh, Mazda. It's an RX-3 coupe. Back in the day when uh, the Japanese stars started uh, appearing on the scene in the 70s. Uh, this is a good example of uh, one that was coming in. There's a uh, fully armored like Ford F-150 or something or an excursion or whatever the hell they base this thing on. Do they even still make the excursion? I don't even know. So we got a sticker right above the Ford logo on the steering wheel, so no one can tell it's a Ford, because you obviously can't. Um, I guess this is if you're like super paranoid and uh, you think somebody's gonna be coming after you, you get one of these things to stay inconspicuous. Yeah, right. Okay, so this car actually has the uh, optional reindeer gear and the uh, reindeer nose, uh, which adds about 50 reindeer power, if you don't know. something American that snuck in a 70 GTO Judge uh, 400 Ram air motor Not this one's got a four speed yep it's got a four speed and of course it's in uh, Judge Orange <laughs> cool little MG. Uh, I had to step away for a minute from the uh, loud music to let my ears recuperate. Uh, there's also this uh, pretty sweet old Toyota Corolla. Imagine these aren't getting any easier to find these days. You know what I think is really cool? A right hand drive Mini right next to a pink Miata. Where the hell else are you gonna see that? There's a really sharp uh, 66 Continental. I actually almost bought one of these once when I was in the Navy and my father advised against it because the uh, the talk mechanisms on these are very, very complicated. If anything goes wrong, they are a bear to fix. This one looks like it's had a, a proper restoration done on it. All right, I have no idea what the hell this thing is, but it's LS powered. It's got a little uh, cockpit in there, a uh, steering wheel that comes off so you can squeeze in. There's a uh, first gen Bronco, it's a 5 liter 302, it's got a custom interior. Very, very deep red paint. I don't know if it's going to show up on the video or not. Yeah, it's just like a full custom Audi wagon. It's an uh, Audi All Road. And it's like lowered with rims. And it's got the uh, cargo carrier on the roof. You can see there's a lot of Lamborghinis here, like a ton of these things. 
Like here's more Lamborghini. This isn't even like all the Lamborghinis. There's there's so many of them. So if you like Lamborghinis, go to Morning Octane when they have it here. I know they do it in Pasadena sometimes. They do it at Pasadena City Hall and on the uh, bridge. Uh, but sometimes it's here at uh, Santa Anita Racetrack. And hopefully you can hear me over this loud music. I don't know. I don't know if I should shout or what. But check this thing out. It's got like gold rims. Yeah, paint job wasn't cheap. Got a cool uh, Datsun Roadster. You don't see these so much anymore. This one's really clean too. I don't know if that's an alarm or more techno music. There's a really nice uh, Datsun Z car. Kind of got a race livery on it. Get all the bracing. She got the meats on those tires. Here, how about a BMW with fall foliage uh, camouflage? I'm going to shoot some video on that uh, Chevy pickup truck. That one's actually got a uh, pretty sweet LS set up in it. Right, see how they did this. Kind of left the outside looking all patina. Show you the interior. A lot of custom work. A lot of custom details in this truck. Something that a lot of people would actually just walk right past and not even notice. See, we got a place to put his bicycles. Got a uh, fuel cell on the bed. Looks like the guy in the uh, charger is about to pull out. Dude, this car is so money. It even has money and the Monopoly guy on it. Check that out. Do not pass, go. Do not collect. Oh, it's Richie Rich. How many, how many millennials are gonna get that one? And on the other side, it's like solid gold. There's that uh, GT350H uh, Mustang. And it it's a real one. It's kind of a, uh, like a resto mod. Uh, it doesn't look like it's like a real Hertz uh, Shelby. More of like a... Uh, tribute car if you will but uh, really really sharp one So that's about going to wrap it up here for uh, Morning Octane. Uh, people actually I got a lot of positive comments on the car. And a lot of people like, where the hell did you find that? So it's a good time. Uh, if you look, I think Rustnack uh, Auto Group puts this on. You can find their Facebook page fairly easily. I think I got it as like a targeted ad or something because they really, I guess they really wanted to see my face here. Um, so until next time, I'm going to be doing another video of the What the F is that doing in the Junkyard uh, series uh, this week. I actually shot some video yesterday on that. Some, some really interesting stuff popped up at a local uh, cell service yard. And uh, in a few weeks, we're going to be going to Radwood. Uh, most likely with the uh, 91 Cadillac to the also we'll be shooting some video at, at that show as well and uh, thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and like and do whatever the hell you like to do